All right. Okay. So we got this new family moved in down the street. Good family. Good Christian family. Yankee family. I don't like them. Me and them do not see eye to eye. None, no, never how. At all. You ever meet them people that you just know you're not going to vibe with? That's me and them and them and me. We don't get along. But when a new family moves to, the, to your neighborhood in the South, what do you do? You bake them a pie, you bake them a cobbler, you make them some homemade ice cream, and you haul your ass over there, and you go be neighborly. So it's, it's what you do, so it's what I did. Now, I don't know how Zach drew the short end of the stick whenever I was the first ones they chose to pay a visit to, but I had already opened the door, so there wasn't no getting out of the shit. So here we go. Now, so we invited them in, you know, come in, old lady fixes them some tea and stuff like that, and we're in there shooting the shit and chewing the fat and shit like that in the living room. I knew that me and them was already a little bit catty-cornered on the way we looked at life, but this right here just kind of set it up. I got this convinced me when they asked me if we had any unsweet tea. No, because we ain't communists. So you just gonna have to risk diabetes with the rest of us, okay? They were, you know, and they were real polite. Oh, that's fine. You know, this, this is fine. And then the husband of said couple wants to ask me. Now, keep in mind, this is on a Sunday wants to ask me, hey, you mind if we turn on the hockey game? We Okay, so what we not going to do today is turn on the hockey game. Any other day, I I watch hockey with you. I don't understand this shit, but I'm in there with you because it's a badass sport. But what we not going to do today is turn on hockey while Drew Brees is making hamburger meat out of all the secondaries in the NFL. We not doing that. That ain't happening today. They're like, you know, Everything was going good. It was going my way, so it was going good. Now, third thing that happened. This man's going to go, hey, you ought to come back up with me when we go, and we're going to go ice fishing. <laughs> nah, fam. Uh-uh. Ain't happening. Let me tell you what. what let me tell you what we ain't going to do today. That. He said, no, no, no. It'll be fun. We'll go out on the lake. It's got a hut. We'll make a fire. We'll cut a hole. We'll eat some oatmeal, and we're going to have we'll catch all the fish. It'll be a good time. No. We are not doing that. Let me explain something to you. What you want me to do is leave South Mississippi, here, yeah, go to Antarctica, basically, walk out on a frozen lake, get in a house that y'all have built on top of this ice. So it's already under a stress. Then you want me to light a fire in order to be able to survive those climates on the ice in the house. As if that's not going weak in the ice that's between, it's like me, ice, death. Ice is the only thing that's keeping me there. And you want me to weaken it by starting a fire in this house. Okay, so that's a no right there. And then on top of that, you want me to cut a hole in the shit, just right, right there, a hole right down through it to weaken it more and sit there with a little Tasmanian devil rod or a Barbie rod about that long and sit there and jig for fish that might weigh eight pounds? Are you nuts? That, that, <laughs> no. I, you got a better chance of me jumping my fat ass off a bridge hang, holding nothing on to but a damn rubber band than me doing that. That ain't happening. Well, I got through this experience, and I thought that my little Yankee Town experiences was over with because I thought it pretty much made it very clear that me and them did not get along. No, that was just the tip of the iceberg. So I get a call earlier today. You know, cause me and Trip, that's my, my white lab. Me and him, we out in the in the in the, in the field, and we we setting off fireworks. You know, just kind of quality controlling them, making sure which ones are suitable for the kids and stuff for the night. I get a call from Mrs. Yankee. She says, "Hey, do you mind stop shooting those fireworks? Uh, starting to scare my dogs." I said, "I'm sorry, it's doing what now?" She said, "It's scaring my dogs. My dogs have real bad anxiety." And, uh, and you're scaring him. I said, what kind of dog do you have? And it was some kind of Polynesian or po Polynesian sauce. It was like the shit that you get from Chick-fil-A. It was that name. I think I'm saying it right. But I explained to her, I said, ma'am, there ain't going to be way more than just me shooting off fireworks tonight. I got a fireworks display I got to do for the youngins. And she going to continue to tell me that she going to call the law on me if I don't quit shooting these fireworks. Now, keep in mind, I'm shooting these fireworks in the middle of the day right now. It's like daytime. I told her that you go ahead and call the police because he's going to be at, at my fireworks display with his family. So you go ahead and call the sheriff then. Give him a ring. Tell him Zach said, hey, your dog has anxiety. Do you know what happens when a dog from the south hears a firework or a gunshot? It starts looking for a duck That's what it, or a bird. That's what it does. 
go get on to me with some kind of damn Yankee dog doesn't like the sound of firecrackers. You get, you go get bent. She pissed me off so bad, but I'll tell you what I did. Let me tell you what I done. I'm about to fuck her whole world up. I went and bought the biggest fireworks they got, and I'm shooting them in their direction tonight. Gonna call me, coming me halfway cock sideways. Shit.